profit and loss. We come across the words profit and loss at many places in our real life. Shiddant, what are you reading in the newspaper? Jia, do you know that the Webmania toy company have incurred a loss of two and a half lakhs in this year? At the same time, the Munna toy company had a profit of six lakhs in this year's business. Siddhant, what do you mean by profit and loss? Ah, uh, that's very easy to understand. Come on, let me tell you about profit and loss with this example. John has a factory where he produces toys. He is a big businessman, so he cannot go to each person and sell the toys. Hence, he sells these toys to shops, who in turn sell it to people. Here John is the producer of the toy manufacturing company. Shop is the retailer and people are the customer or the consumer. In most cases, a middleman buys from the producer and sells the product to the consumer and the middleman are either wholesaler or retailer. The price with which the shopkeeper is buying the toys from the producer is called the cost price and the price with which the shopkeeper sells the toys to the customers is called as selling price. Let us assume that the shop buys a toy from the producer at rupees 200 and sells it to the customers at rupees 300. The shop has sold the toy at a higher price than the cost price. Therefore, it is a profit. After few months, the demand of the same toy reduces and customers are not wanting to buy the same toy. The shop buys the toy at the same price of rupees 200, but because of less demand, sells it in rupees 100. In this case, the shop is in loss. Note that in the first case, the selling price is higher and in the second case, it is lower. So we can say that if the selling price is greater than the cost price, then it is a profit. Whereas, if the selling price is less than the cost price, then it is a loss. In short, cost price is called as CP and selling price is called as SP. Let us solve few problems to get a better understanding of the topic. A bookseller buys books for rupees 800 and sells it at rupees 900. Is it a profit or loss for the shopkeeper? Here the cost price is rupees 800 and selling price is rupees 900. Since the selling price is greater than the cost price, we can say it is a profit. And how much is the profit? Profit is equal to the selling price minus the cost price, that is 900 minus 800, which equals 100. A profit of rupees 100 means that the article was sold at rupees 100 more than the cost price of the article. Let us look at the next example. A cycle shopkeeper buys a cycle for rupees 1500 and sells it at rupees 1200. Is it a profit or loss for the shopkeeper? Here the cost price is Rs. 1500 and selling price is Rs. 1200. Since the selling price is lower than the cost price, we can say it is a loss. And how much is the loss? Loss is equal to cost price minus the selling price. That is 1500 minus 1200, which equals 300. A loss of 300 means 
that the article was sold at rupees 300 less than the cost price of the article. Remember, the money paid to buy an item is called the cost price. The money received on selling an article is called the selling price. Profit is equal to SP minus CP and loss is equal to CP minus SP. There is a trick to remember these formulae. First, by looking at the CP and SP, find out if it is a profit or loss and then subtract the lower number with the higher number.